People are waiting for hours to get it. We're probably at about two and a half hours right now. In line, in cars. We had to wait to park, so. The must have of the Thanksgiving season is a COVID test. Many people are lining up at clinics, labs, urgent cares, anywhere that gives COVID tests like the first care here in Florence. There's just hardly no standing room inside. We kept more than six feet distance, wore masks, and stayed outside for all of the interviews. I signed up last night online, showed up about an hour ago, and it looks like I'm about an hour and 15 minutes away still. Brandon decided to wait it out, even though he's showing no symptoms. So what brings you in? Uh, so me, it's a personally want to keep uh, my family safe and make sure that if I'm around anyone uh, through the holidays, at least I've been tested. Ben Hines brought his wife to get tested, who he says is showing some symptoms. They're like many trying to gauge what to do over the holiday. We're going to have Thanksgiving at her family's who is in our bubble, but we wanted to make sure that she was OK before we went. He says they realized when they saw so many showing up here, just getting tested has its own risk. We actually made the joke, what happens if she doesn't have it, but then she gets it in there, you know? I actually have symptoms. It started uh, yesterday. Angel Musk was waiting here, too, with good reason. Hoping I don't have to quarantine before the holidays. Joining many who this season are just wishing for the gift of good health. Yeah, now remember, if you're coming to get a COVID test, uh, when they send those out, getting results back, it takes three or four days on a, under good conditions. So add to that all these extra cases, it could take even longer. You might ask about your results. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. Now, Brian, what if someone wants to visit one of these clinics for something other than COVID testing? What are the wait times for them? Yeah, well, we're hearing if it's a place that does, an urgent care or a clinic that does these kind of tests, well, there's only so many resources to go around. So even if you go in with a non-COVID related issue, you could be waiting extra time, Ashley. All right, a headache many of us have had to experience. Brian Hamrick reporting live. Thank you, Brian.